here, I'm going to show you how to use data validation with dynamic arrays. So the great new functions in later versions of Excel where you have just one right here and it spills down. And I did pull this from the previous tutorial this week because I want to make sure I highlight how to do this because it's very easy to forget. And how do we turn this into a data validation list? Go here and we go Alt DL or data, data validation and allow a list source. If we select one, then we just get one value. So what you want to do is to select the first cell where you input the formula and put the hashtag right there. And that makes sure that it will select all of the results. And even if new results are added, those will also be added to your data validation list. So we go here and add yellow and back here. There we go, yellow. Now make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and the bell icon, and leave a comment and let me know what you think.